Hello students, in today's video we shall discuss example number 3 of chapter 7 triangles. We have already discussed example number 1 and 2 and this is example number 3 which is on page number 92. Line segment AB is parallel to another line segment CD. AB is parallel to CD. O is the midpoint of AD. O is the midpoint of AD. That means OA and OD, these two are equal. So we have given here AB parallel to CD, these two parallel. O is the midpoint, therefore OA is equal to OD. This is given to us. Show that triangle AOB is congruent to triangle DOC. Triangle AOB is congruent to triangle DOC. And the second part is O is also the midpoint of BC. O is the midpoint of BC. Now coming to the solution. If you want you can take this given as a part of the solution. And then in triangle AOB, AOB and DOC. Okay. AOB and DOC. This angle A, B, O. This angle here and D, C, O. These two are equal because these two are parallel. Therefore, these would form alternate interior angles. It's like this. So, these two angles are equal. Angle A, O, B is equal to angle D, O, C. A, O, B. AOB and DOC are equal because these are vertically opposite angles and OA is equal to OD. OA equal to OD that is given to us. Therefore, angle, angle, side. So, according to AAS rule, triangle AOB is congruent to triangle DOC. Now these two triangles are congruent that we have proved. Coming to the next part, O is also the midpoint of BC. OB is equal to OC that is according to CPCT that is corresponding parts of congruent triangles are always equal. These two are congruent triangles therefore the corresponding parts OB is equal to OC. So, O is the midpoint of BC. That's all for today. See you in the next video.